Hello, welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do your weekly love prediction reading for Capricorn for September 16th through September 22nd. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loyal, stubborn, kind, loving, Capricorn. Show me, spirit guys, what's going on with my loving, stubborn Capricorns. Let's see. Show me, spirit guys. The sun. Okay, Cap. The Hierophant. Seven of Wands. Eight of Cups. And the Lovers. Well, Capricorn, I, I'm I, whoo, whoo. First of all, the sun is leading your reading. The sun is one of the the best cards in the deck. This is about happiness, sunshine, rainbows, unicorns, just feeling good all over. Whomever this person is, whomever this person is, you feel really, really. I mean, there's something they put you on a high. They just put you on a natural high. You're in love. You're in love. But but here's the deal. I'm going to be very honest with you. You're in love, but it's not with the person that you're with. Oh, I'm sorry. Because right next to the, the sun card is the Hierophant card. Okay? And that Hierophant card can represent a Taurus sun sign. But the Hierophant card is about commitment. It's about tradition. It's about commitment. You're in love, but you're not in love with the one you're with. Here in the middle of the reading is the Seven of Wands. That's you standing up for yourself and letting them know I got to go. Because you're walking away. You're in love. You're, you're happy. You're, you're happy. But he does not make you happy because it's in between the seven of wands and the sun card. You're, you're are a stat, you, your life has never been as happy as it is now when it comes to your love. You are in love with someone but is not your significant. And I, I shouldn't say significant other because I don't think it's really that deep with this person yet. But it's not with the person that you want that that um you want to be with this is someone that you're with but you're not in love with him you're not in love with him so therefore you're walking away look at that eight of cups you're walking away you're walking away and you tell them you're just saying and you know and you're, and you're absolutely right about this capricorn because why would he want to be with someone that wasn't in love with him i would you want to let him free so let him be free release the relationship so that he can find the love of his life as well because you found this love of your life and it's not the one that you're with. The lover's card is here and can represent a Gemini sun sign. But the lover's card is about a decision also. And it's about a deep emotional bond. And you have this bond with this other person. And you know what? You refuse to sell yourself short. Why should you sell yourself short? You know, why should you not be with the one that you love? Why? Why should you not be with the one that you love? You love this man. You love this man. And unfortunately... It's not the one that you're with and you're walking away because you're in love with someone else. You're in love with someone else, someone here. You, you're in love with someone else. You know, why should you sell yourself? Sure, why should you just settle for something? You're not going to settle. Give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading to see what additional information the spirit guys want you to know about this relationship. Show me spirit guys. What additional information do you want to tell my Capricorns about this relationship. Why is the sun card here? Show me spirit guys. Why is the sun card here? Show me. Well, eight of cups. Thank you spirit guys. When the spirit guys give you the same card in the reading, that means whomever I'm reading for, I'm telling you exactly what's in your heart space, what exactly what you're going to do because you're happy. This sun card, 
you're happy, but you know you got to walk away from this. You know, it's over this Eight of Cups, and you know you're going to even be happier when you walk away from what you're with in with what you who you're with now. You know, this other person makes you happy, and you know you have to walk away. But then you know that Sun card. That's how you're going to get your total happiness by walking away. Let's see why the Hierophant card is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Hierophant card here? Show me, Spirit Guides. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. That's all about growth. It's all about growth. Um, the Hierophant card is here, but it's all about growth. And unfortunately, you tried to stick in with this man. You know how you say, I can fall in love with him? I think you tried to put all the pieces together and see if it could grow into love. And I'm not saying you don't love him, but it's not your heart space is not with him. It's with someone else. Your heart space is just not with him. It's with someone else. And it's not like you didn't give it a chance. You know, you tried. You really tried. You tried to grow with this man. But that's not where your heart space is. It's with someone else. So let's see why the Seven of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Seven of Wands here? All the work that you put in, and I understand you did put in a lot of work, but like I said, with this relationship, but if your heart, your heart tells you what your heart tells you. You can't make your heart be in love with someone. So let's see why the seven of wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the seven of wands here? Ace of swords. Well, that's my clarity card. That's my truth. The truth and nothing but the truth. And you know that. That seven of, that ace of swords telling you. Hey, you stand up for yourself because you're letting them know, you know, you're defending your, your decision. But, hey, I'm just, I'm not in love with you. I, you know, I'm happy with someone else. And I know that I'm, I'm just not in love with you. So let's see why this Eight of Cups is here again. Show me why is the Eight of Cups here again. You're telling him, though, I'm you, the truth. You know the truth. You know you can't be with him if you're not in love with him. And why would he ever want to be with you if you don't love him? He deserves the same kind of love that you have in your heart for someone else. So let's see why the Eight of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. The Magician. Manifestation. You have manifested the love of your life. You are walking away because you have manifested. You asked the universe for this love. You talk, you manifested this person into your life. This person that you, you're walking away from someone for somebody that has been manifested. That you asked for and you received them. You know exactly, like I said, what you want and who you want. You absolutely do. You've manifested this person into your life. And you know you have to walk away to get your, keep your happiness and to give you more happiness because you're not going to settle. You're not going to settle. So let's see why the lover's card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the lover's card here? Show me spirit, guys. Transformation. The death card, which can represent a Scorpio sun sign. The death card is about transformation, though. It's about transformation. The lover's card is here. The lover's card is here. The lover's card, like I said, can represent a Gemini sun sign. But it's about decisions. That lover's card is about decisions. Absolutely. Decisions. The lover's card is about a deep emotional bond that you have with someone else. And the death card is there, which can represent a Scorpio sun, sun sign. But it's just about transformation. It's about transformation. This, you, you, you know, you're, you're changing. You've changed. You know you're in love with someone else. You know, and you're not going to settle for what you had. You have to walk away. Let's start at the very beginning. The sun card. You're happy. I mean, this person, whoever this brings you sunshine and goodness and happiness. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're just, you're thrilled beyond. And then you have the eight of cups, which means you're walking away to keep that happiness because you're not in love with the person that you're with. You're not in love with this person that you're with. This hierophant card is here. This is some type of commitment that you may have with someone. And you've tried with that seven of pentacles. You really try to put in the work and make this, you know, fall in love with this person. You put, you put in the work. But you don't love him. And you have to walk away in order to keep your get your happiness that you have with someone else. You know that you're in love with someone else. Let's see here with the seven of wands. You're standing up for yourself. You're standing up for yourself and say, asking him, why on earth would you want to be with me if I don't if I'm not in love with you? He deserves the same love that you have in your heart for someone else. And there's that ace of swords there, which means you're very clear about clear about what you want and who you want. And unfortunately, it's just not him. 
He's just not the one. There's that eight of cups there. And that eight of cups is all about, like I said, thank you, spirit guys, walking away because you've manifested who you want in your life. You're walking away because there's someone else that you love. And here's the lover's card that's here. And the lover's card is a, can represent a Gemini sun sign. The Hierophant card can represent a Taurus sun sign as well. But that lover's card, that's about a decision. Because you have a deep emotional bond with someone else and you just don't have the bond with him like that. You love him, but you're in love with this other person. There's a death card that's a transformation card, which means that you're changing, you're, you're evolving, you're growing. And you know that you can't be with this person because you are in love with someone else. The death card can also represent a Scorpio sun sign as well. But unfortunately, you know, somebody has to get hurt. But you can't stay with something or someone that you don't love or don't love like that. You know, not, and when I say love, you love this person, but you're not in love with him like that. You know what I'm saying? There's no, there's not that type of love. It might be more of a, you know, a, a, a person love or I love you as a person, but not as a lover, not as someone that wants, you want to be in your life forever. You don't love this person that way. And you have to walk away because you won't settle. You won't settle. So let's see what my oracles have to say. Show me. Oh, whoops. Romance came out. Whoever this person is, hey. He knows how to romance you. I'm going to be very honest with you. He absolutely knows what to do. He knows what to do. He absolutely, it says communicate clearly too. I think that's very important. You let this other person know, hey, it's not you, it's me. And I hate to use that, that you know, I hate when people say that. But this is clearly not him, it's you. You're just in love with someone else. It says if you believe and you do believe and you know, it says remain positive. Which I think is very, very important right now because it's going to be very, very hard for you just based off of what's going on. It says a peaceful resolution is going to come and I think that's really, really important for where you are because you don't want to hurt him. You, didn't, you, you weren't trying to hurt him. You really were not trying to hurt him. Absolutely not. I think I'm going to pull this card too because it says let go and he needs to let go of you so that and you need to let go of him so that he can find the love of his life like you found the love of yours. Absolutely. 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 It also says success. It says success here. It says success. It says yes. 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 Absolutely. Yes. You found the love of your life. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, it's that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. It's going to be just fine. Last card that I'm going to pull is meditation brings answers meditate pray because you really don't want to hurt him but he needs to find the love of his life like you found the love of yours and that's what i have for you capricorn for your love prediction reading